Hi everyone, welcome to Law Chat 101 with your legal BFF, Gerza Parga Patel. I am here to share with you some quick legal strategies and informational tips out there. Again, all the information that I am sharing is for informational and educational purposes only. So please consult an attorney before you do anything for your own personal business. Now, with that being said, today's episode is about how to have quick, easy, tangible strategies in your contract to exit and terminate that contract beforehand. So this is basically early termination for a contract. So these tips are super quick, things that you can easily incorporate into your contract. And of course, depending on the subject matter of your contract, sometimes things can be a little bit trickier or you may need to add some more essential elements into that contract as well. So again, consult an attorney in your area for that purpose. But let's get started. And of course, always remember to subscribe because when you subscribe, you help others to get this information as well. And when you share, you're boosting that help. So please go out there, you know, click on the subscribe button so you can get more legal tips as you go along. And in addition to that, share it with your friends and family and other business relations out there on your social media and tag GBP Law. Would love to hear from you and from others as well. So let's get started. So number one, in your contract for early termination, your contract, we need to make sure that there's provisions that are in the contract for situations that happen. Sometimes you just aren't feeling it, or sometimes you're also just not loving that relationship, thinking the way it would be, or it's not aligning with your business anymore either. So it's not a breach of contract. It's literally just, I just want to leave. I don't want to continue this business relationship anymore. So the number one thing to make sure that every single contract that you get into has is notice. Notice seems like a very innocuous you know, clause in your contract, something that just seems very mundane and maybe boilerplate but it's very important because what happens is that there are certain things that happen in a contract or in a business relationship that is material to that relationship. So wanting to exit early is a material action in a business contractual relationship. So if it's the other party or if it's you that wants to exit early, we need to have a notice provision in there. So that gives the other party notice that I'm about to do this and you're not leaving them high and dry. You're also giving them some grace period to maybe cure an issue or figure out what's going on so maybe we can make it better or ease the transition of your exit. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to burn bridges. Burning bridges, unless it's absolutely something that is against your value system and against something that you stand for and you're just like, I cannot. Burning bridges is not the best thing to do in an industry. Industries are small, especially the more you niche down into an industry, people start knowing about you and your business reputation is everything when people are wanting to do business with you. So notice provision is very important. And in that provision, you are telling them, material issues that I'm going to, you know, X, Y, Z is going to happen. It's a material action in the contractual obligation. Plus it also gives you time to really think about what you're doing as well. And it gives them time to cure and think as well and have the conversations that are necessary. Now, number two, that's very important in a contract is the termination clause itself. You need to have something that is solid, something that navigates both parties on how to terminate, even if it's literally the end of the road for the contract itself, and it's you know coming to a termination date in the contract. But say, again, the early termination is there, so you wanna have in your contract how to terminate the contract or the business contractual obligations. What do you need to do? What's the roadmap on that? How does it look like? So of course, notice is important. And then how many days notice do you need to give with regards to termination? And then are you going to have reasons to terminate or is it at will? Anybody can terminate for whatever cause at any given point in time. And then how is the money gonna be handled? How are you gonna exchange monies at that time for the services or goods that have been given or not been given and for the money that has been paid or not been paid? And is there a refund involved in there for any advances that have been paid or retainers that have been given? So these are all important things to have, but then also have a step-by-step -step process. I'm giving notice, I'm gonna be terminating, this is what we have to do with the money. This is what we have to do with whatever's left over with regards to the services or the goods. And if there is a dispute, we're gonna give ourselves time to figure that one out also. But the notice is there and parties might stop or they may not stop performing under the contract depending on 
what the contract is about. And then at the end of that, they're free to leave, free of obligations and duties under that contract. So it's very important to have a termination clause in there so that way you can easily navigate yourselves out of a contract. In addition to that, sometimes we might have a certain act of God, as they call it, or a circumstance that is absolutely out of either party's control. And it could just be one party or two parties. And so how do you handle those when it's not a circumstance that is directly in your control? So such like COVID, that was not in anybody's control, especially for most of the both parties. And a lot of contracts and business relationships were actually impacted by it. Now that's called the force majeure clause and you need to have that in there. And just like the termination clause, you need to have a time frame. You need to have notice, time frame to cure the issue if you can. And then also you need to have a step-by-step -step roadmap on how to terminate and end that contractual relationship that seems fair and you know equal to both parties and fair to both parties. So equal doesn't mean that everybody gets 50-50, but basically it's an equal way to you know, tie up the loose ends and also to step away from one another. So those are super important things to have in your contract. Again, step-by-step -step processes are very helpful because nobody's confused, nobody's questioning the process and you already know how to handle it. And so you don't have to go to a mediator necessarily or an arbitrator or a court or a judge or even a lawyer because you've already discussed this. You've already discussed all of this in the beginning. And so now when you do need to exit, it's good to exit in a happy way. Another thing to have when you are exiting your business contractual relationship is to have a termination letter between you and the other party. And you're basically signing it saying that we are done. We have agreed upon the terms concluding this relationship and XYZ has been paid this much, or if you want to include that in there, but have a termination letter that where both parties are expressing their desire to exit and that they are mutually doing it now with all the mutual understandings between both of you and then sign it as well. So these are some quick tips to have in your contract to make sure that the exit is not so stressful and also something that you can manage at the front end and you don't have to deal with it in a courtroom paying thousands of extra dollars for that when you could have paid maybe up you know some hundreds of dollars just to create a contract that is best suited for you and for your client or for the vendor or for any other business partner that you're working with at that time this was helpful to you subscribe because when you subscribe you are helping others as well and plus you're gonna get the latest and the greatest coming out of gbp law and coming out of law chat with gerja again share subscribe post it on your social media and tag GBP Law or Law Chat with Gerja, and I will talk to you again soon.